Hello, all things E fans. Dante here with your zombie survival tip of the week. But first, if you want to keep up with all the latest in zombie entertainment, uh, reviews of Comic Cons, shenanigans, and all over good times, make sure you hit subscribe and click that bell to keep up with all of our awesome stuff. Okay, guys, this week's tip is kind of a, <clears throat> well, it's sort of a sensitive subject, if, if you know, mind me saying so. Uh, I mean, I, I almost am hesitant to bring it up. And to be quite frank, if, uh, if it wasn't anybody but you and, uh, and uh, all our good friends here, I might not even say it. But here's the tip. You need to avoid hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's right. Man, you're not Chuck Norris. You're not Bruce Lee. You're not Jean-Claude Van Damme. You know what you are? You are a punching bag. And you get in a fight with the wrong dude during the zombie apocalypse, and bam, you're out. And then, then you're stumbling around with a concussion. You're all like, uh, uh, uh. you don't know what's happening. And guess what? You're making that noise. Uh, uh. And that noise is going to attract some zombies. And them zombies are going to be all like, bridge, bridge, bridge. And they're going to eat you. So, look, here's the deal. We all like to think that we are kung fu masters. And I will even say that I am. And heck, I got snark in the backyard right now practicing Tai Chi. But the simple matter of the fact is this, guys. We are not Tai Chi masters. We are not martial artists. And we will get the crap kicked out of us. So that's your zombie tip of the week. Don't get into hand-to-hand -hand combat. Hey there, all things Z fans. If you'd like to see another episode of All Things Z, click here. And if you'd like to subscribe to see more from us on the regular, click here. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to go get a beer now. Yeah. <laughs>